I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners. And that's why you're here. So stick around. This is something NASA rejected. Houston, be advised. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Ladies and women are from Venus. And women are from Mars? Alright, yeah, that sounds kind of weird. Apparently... Mars doesn't need women. It's already got one. And if you ask any woman, she will tell you. One woman is more than enough. And for those people who are like, this is fake. This is a hoax. Or this is a fake hoax from NASA. Do you know the statistical odds of everyone, every single person at NASA being a total asswad dickhole? Those odds are very low. So maybe some of the good ones are trying to send us coded messages. And that's what we're here trying to do. Decode the secret Celestial planetary messages. Decode the secret codes. If you don't want to do that, fine. Fine. Grab your cupcake and go. Alright, so we got a woman on Mars, right? That is great news. Cause Matt Damon is stuck there. And he needs company. Bad. I heard that from Hollywood. It may or may not be true. I don't know, man. That was something that caught my eye. I saw someone say, hey, there was a woman on Mars. I was like, oh, really? These are crazy times, man. I wouldn't be surprised if they found a woman on Mars. I mean, I have not have a girlfriend. How weird is that? I mean, I, I think I do. I haven't, I haven't checked with her in, like, two hours. Maybe the status is checked, and I just have not been informed yet. Well, that would be weird, you would think, and... Today's world of instant communication. She would probably let me know that. What was I talking about? Okay, a woman on Mars. Woman on Mars? It's a case of pareidolia. Pareidolia? Pareidolia. Man, I gotta fucking look it up that shit. Here's the explanation in English. And you know how they say never a straight answer? Always a long, confusing explanation. Always a long, confusing explanation. It's kind of like your hypothetical girlfriend gets home at 6 in the morning. Looking like a horse has been rode hard and put up wet. 
You know, like, baby, why were you out till six in the morning? And then she doesn't give me an answer. She gives you a very long, very detailed, very long, very detailed, very passionate explanation, along with apologies for any discomfort. Her falling off the planet for ten hours might have cost you. But I digress, cause there is a freaking woman on Mars. The internet has been abuzz about an image taken by the Mars Curiosity rover on the surface of the red planet. The so-called woman on Mars has worked its way around alien conspiracy theorists and UFO enthusiasts who pointed out that the image appeared like a woman who was partly cloaked. Center for SETI Research Director Seth Shostak, an astronomer, however, if there is indeed life on this extraterrestrial world. The image, which was posted on NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory website, does not provide evidence of it. Well, ain't that a shock? A SETI, an astronomer admits, just cause NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab shows you Photograph of something. It is definitely not proof that it exists. He said that the image of the woman on planet Mars is all in the mind of the beholder. A phenomenon known as paradoilia. Wow. That would explain dark matter. Dark matter is a multi-billion dollar case of pareidolia. Dark matter is a case of pareidolia. Man. i on my screen, man. Damn. Pareidolia is a psychological phenomena that makes people see or hear familiar things when they encounter unfamiliar patterns. The human brain is hard wired to search for meanings, patterns, and faces in images. Really? Showstack said that this helped our ancestors catch prey or avoid predators, albeit it is a poor strategy when it comes to hunting extraterrestrial life. Oh, that whole sentence seems weird, man. Yeah. Paradoia is gonna help you catch raccoons. But it's not going to help you catch aliens. Brought to you by the SETI. S-E-T-I. The SETI back. What? Right. You ever notice on some web pages just how hard it is to click down? Like once or twice or three times or four times? Like it really shouldn't take me a fucking hour. Okay. Carl Sagan said that this phenomenon is probably carved into the human genes and helped us with our survival. In his book, Demon Haunted World, Science is a Candle in the Dark. What? He wrote that book? I might have to read that one. He admits the demons haunt our world. Alright. 
The cosmologist said that the ability to recognize faces that were not really there has helped humans distinguish danger from safety, as those who thought they spotted a predator in the bushes and fled had higher odds of surviving than those who ignored signs of potential danger. The pareidolia phenomena is actually deeply rooted one something that helps infants focus on faces early and has also allowed humans in the wild to spot danger easily picking a potential menacing human or animal peering out of the backdrop of leaves or scrub. Man, how many times have you said that in the same freaking article? Now I sound like a dumbass just repeating information. The pareidolia phenomenon is actually a deep-rooted one, something... Well, you can keep me just, just move my page for no reason, man. Right, we're done with that article. It keeps changing, going up and down. Yeah, you got... Your website blows, buddy. Tech Times? No offense. No, that's not a woman on Mars. No, that is not a woman on Mars, said Forbes who specializes in money and rich people, who's taking the time out to throw their hat in the ring on deciding whether or not this is a woman on Mars. And I don't understand women that much. At all, really. I mean, I'm, I'm admitting to you personal weakness and deficiency that I have. They're very confusing. I don't know what motivates them. I don't necessarily know why they do what they do. They're like cats, man. They're totally like cats. I don't mean that insultingly. I'm like, hey, I know what dogs are going to do. Cats on the other hand, hell no. When a cat leaves for like three days, you don't know where it went. You don't know what it did. And then the cat is always smart enough to say, Oh, I was good. I was a good cat. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything that would cause you mental or emotional discomfort. Don't worry, baby. And then she licks herself. Right? What's it talking about? Oh, that's not a woman on Mars. It's just a giant rock shaped like a rock. And you think it's a rock. I paraphrased. I paraphrased. If you think this is a woman, it's a sure sign you're a lonely man. There's a lot of weird crap that shows up on Mars. You got World War II helmets. You got Bigfoot. You got lizards. You got squirrels. You got iguanas. You got faces. You got hipsters. You got monkey bungalows. You got high-rise hotels. You got, you got bicycles. You get fish, skeletons, unexplained things, really awesome scenery, more really awesome scenery, a lot of times just plain orange dirt, weird stuff that nobody can really explain, really. Alright, so at Forbes we're like, the human brain is good at seeing patterns. The human, the human brain is good at seeing patterns. That's mostly a positive thing. 
It helps us recognize faces, spot danger. It obviously helped our species survive in ancient times when our ancestors were more prey than predator. And discover important new things. Man, I love new things. I love new things. Sometimes, though, we can get fooled into seeing things that aren't there. Oh, sometimes I admit I can be jealous when um, there's nothing to be jealous about. But you never know. <sighs> Man, worst. Episode ever. Damn you, Mars! It's a Martian war planet. It's freaking war on my brain. Ah, someone out there's going, all oh, these are fake. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I thought I covered that at the beginning. Alright, back to the whatever. Sometimes, though, we can get fooled into seeing things that aren't there. The technical term for this is periodolia. And again, it's mostly harmless. Plenty of us as kids saw scary monsters in the nighttime shadows of our bedrooms. Or as grown-ups, We'll see Elvis's face in a bagel. What? Uh, no. I want to party with you, man. <laughs> the man or the rabbit in the moon are classic examples of a pareidolia. Craters and ancient volcanic flows combined with our brains to produce a pattern for something that is actually random. And then there's Mars, which is really freaky. Which is Mars. Then there's Mars, the red planet is a great place to see patterns because the rock formations are very like Earth's. Hey dude, the rock formations are very like Earth's. Every few months, it seems someone else has spotted an animal, or a face, or an artificial hiding, or an artifact hiding in the images taken by one of the Mars missions. The most recent one was of a woman in an image from the Curiosity Rover. Well, how tall would that woman be? Hey, Mohawk guy from NASA, do you know? Hey, Mohawk guy from NASA, do you know how tall that woman would be? She looks kind of like an elf, especially if you ever played World of Warcraft. She looks like a World of Warcraft elf. I'm guessing a druid, a druid elf. That's what she looks like. When I saw a photo, I was having World of Warcraft flashbacks. And I was running around the basin. Healing everybody, winning everything, and I'm like, that's, yeah, that's, uh, cause I, I had a paladin, I love to heal, man. Running around healing people, it's always great. Seer, the woman on Mars, is that vertical shadow in the center of the image. This is a raw, unprocessed image. Uh, Grammar error. Internet is really screwed up. Good grammar. Right, dudes? Is that correct, Mundo? You can see why someone might think this looks like a woman. Because it totally looks like a woman. 
shoulders and hips and you can almost see boobs i can see boob lines can you see boob lines boob lines are totally there and i mean that as objective and scientifically as possible unlike most of the stuff in this photo this object is upright rather than horizontal. Well, that's, that's good, because a horizontal woman would be less believable. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it just sounds... Oh, the pattern of light and the shadow is vaguely human-like, of course. The woman would only be a few inches tall, based on the size of the rocks around her. That doesn't bug you. Oh, that's it. Forget it, Mohawk guy. Now I know. She'd only be a few inches tall. If that doesn't bug you, maybe she's a statuette or something. What if they're tiny people on Mars? And they got really big technology. That could still cause problems for us. You see that? You see that all the details of your brain fills in disappear. Try click clicking on the high resolution image and zooming in. Yeah, I will in a minute. That doesn't, that doesn't bug you. Maybe she's a statuette or something. Try clicking on the full high resolution image and zooming in. You'll see that all the details your brain fills in disappear. One video I saw last week kept the woman in by outlining her in red. Obviously, for that reason. I mean, it's interesting to look at. I mean, and no matter what, I think just looking at the going, what do you see? Is interesting. And yeah, I definitely think there could be life. Yeah, I definitely think there could be life on Mars. And, um, I definitely think if another world's technology was greater than ours, they could force our scientists to tell us what it, to tell us exactly what they want to, right? They'd be in control. Then they'd all be part of some secret club and they didn't want us to know about it because it's secret, right? What are you trying to tell us, woman on Mars? Okay, maybe that's what She's trying to tell us this is a secret club on Mars. You'll see that all the details you br oh. Life on Earth has shaped our entire planet. The chemistry of the atmosphere, the oceans, even rocks are all shaped by the billions of years life has been around. Mars doesn't show the same kind of major chemical upheaval, even apart from the lack of cities or obvious bug-eyed tentacle weirdos. Mars may have life, and hopefully, if it does, we can find it with our rovers. Whatever form Martian life takes, though... It's unlikely to be macroscopic. It certainly won't take the form of tiny humans. How do you know? You don't sound like a very good science writer to say it certainly won't take the form of tiny humans. If the universe has already created us, then thinking that it might recreate us on another planet, in our own solar system, just in a smaller size, is not outside of probability. 
or possibility. Right, man? Forbes, straighten up your pie hole and give Oh yeah, Forbes and when they gonna raise interest rates. Snicker, snicker, snicker. Thor News has been pawning you on that for seven years. Alright! God bless everybody. Woman on Mars? I don't know. All I know is my woman is not here. And that does not make me happy. Alright, I guess I gotta call her and make sure I still have a girlfriend. Check. Alright, peace out. God bless everybody. August 17th, 7.17pm. My own personal girlfriend update. It definitely looks like I don't have one. And I'm single. Women. <laughs>